Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So, carrying on from our last video, part one, when I showed you how to put an image on top of another image and also we applied a bit of text and I've done a shadow effect. So, this is where we got to. So, now I'm going to show you how to do a couple of other little bits and bobs within paint.net. So, first things first, over here, on the right hand side we're going to select our background and we're going to get our rectangle selection tool okay and we're going to just select our background here um, actually instead of using the rectangle tool we're going to use the lasso select so we're just going to go up around the sniper rifle here it's very rough little go here obviously you can take your time if you hold in control you can zoom in with your wheelie mouse button as well at the same time okay so we've got a little selection here okay so now I am going to go control and C so I've copied that selection and I'm now going to create a new layer so layer 5 and I'm going to go Control V. Okay, so I've just pasted that layer down. As you can see, a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, but down here you can see like a little selection on my layer five thumbnail preview. Right, so I'm now going to go up to Effects. Okay, so we've got loads of effects here. We've got inks, well, just artist effects, blurs, distort, and noise, photo render, and stylize. Okay, so we're just going to have a little play around now with some of the effects. So the first effect we're going to have a little mess around with is we have a little go with a blur. Okay, so if you select blur and go on to motion blur, and as you can see straight away there, so if I put the distance back normal, so it's clear image and if we slowly go up it's getting a lot more blurry in the background there. So if you're doing a car picture, if you're editing a car picture, you can do that motion effect in the background. So you've just got your car there. So, okay, so let's up that a little more. Okay, so very nice little blur there. And then obviously, on the other side, if we got our lasso, select our background again and just literally go around him here, go up here and around there. I've done this horribly wrong. No, I haven't. Okay, so there you go. So just control and C again, and if we create another new layer, so layer six now, and go control and V. So we paste that down and if we go into effects and go repeat motion blur, there you go. As you can see it's added the blur again this side and now it's only the recon sniper rifle guy and our text is actually clear right now. Okay, so that's a nice little effect there. Right, so now if we go over here to our shapes so we've got our text here we could what could we do here we could yeah we could just simply just change color so let's choose a nice little mm, let's go with like a purpley color let's see how that looks right so I've got my rectangle Got loads of little shapes here. You can do a star, you can do a, anything, a tick if you really want, or a cross. But we're just going to go with a rectangle. Or, yeah, let's just go with a rectangle. Okay, so on the next tab along, you can choose if you want to fill the shape or fill the shape with an outline. We're just going to go fill shape. Okay. And now we're just going to literally create another new layer and we're going to make sure we're below our text here which is layer 2 and 3 and our weapon which is layer 4 
and we're just going to simply go like that let's go all the way across there there you go so now that brings out that text a lot more okay horrible color but it brings it out <laughs> okay so now if we go control and zoom in slightly obviously you're wondering what we can do about this bit of the rectangle because obviously you can't see the sniper dude anymore so now we're just going to hide that layer for a second by unchecking the checkbox here on the right and i'm just going to do it very rough but we're just going to get our lasso tool again and we're going to very roughly start from one side of him there are other ways of doing this which i'll show you in another tutorial to come All right so simply just select him okay yeah, ain't got to be perfect i mean to be honest the top bit you don't even need to do it it's only the part where the rectangle's over right so we're just going to select him now all the way down okay and we're going to go control and sit oh okay so i'm not on the correct layer here so i need to go back to background layer and now i'm going to go control and c and we're going to create another new layer and we're going to go control and v so if i just move that as you can see we have literally just pasted the man so okay right so we're just going to move layer eight above level layer seven now so he's sitting above it as you can see there so if you had done it a lot cleaner than i did then obviously it look a lot better than that but that's one way of doing it okay you could always if you really want to dig dead accurate you could always get a little rubber as well and just make it slightly bigger and you could just make sure you got the right layer selected and just rub out the edges and sharpen it up a bit yeah so get the pink going in there if you really want and so on I think you get the chiff there okay right so anyway yeah so that looks pretty cool and then obviously you could use that as a thumbnail on your YouTube video um, obviously you got to make sure you're using the correct resolution so your image size your canvas size which you can find out up here by clicking the image and go down to canvas size you'd have to have the correct pixel size so correct canvas size I have put those sizes in the description but remember to obviously create the correct canvas size before doing all your edits and that so okay so I hope this little video helped. Remember to hit that like button. If you've got any questions, then just post them below and I'll try and answer them.